Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in the jungle section of my zoo here in Zoodesia, which is not something you hear too often because we have not built that many exhibits over here just yet. But thanks to a generous gift from our good friend Luca from his jungles of Pigtopia, we actually have a new creature slash plant that I have added over here and it is totally kickstarted my inspiration for things that we are going to be building over in this jungle. In good time, don't worry, I know that we do need to be paying some attention to our black bear exhibit, not to mention going to check in on our giraffes. That may definitely be something that we do today, but I am very, very proud to present the newest addition and our newest exhibit for a plant slash animal of very, very special origins. Dun, dun, Done the cow plant! Dun, 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 dun. I am still so excited. Those of you guys who have seen my reaction to opening up the cow plant from inside of that crate know how much I absolutely love cow plants. They're actually on our official channel art too. So this is the cow plant. It is currently dormant. I have a feeling that once we add in a zookeeper or a gardener in here, then pretty soon we'll be able to feed it things like pork, maybe tofu. I'm not sure if it'll eat tofu. Uh, definitely zombie jerky because you know plants break down dead matter, dead and decaying matter. Not all of them, but most like these mushrooms, they break down dead and decaying matter. And so I'm pretty sure I can convince a cow plant to eat zombie jerky, which would be really great because zombie jerky is pretty easy to come by. And then maybe they'll give us some form of koi milk? What do you call it when it's a plant? Is it like soy milk? But it's like cow milk too? So, hmm, I'm not sure. We'll definitely look into that in the future. But it is our glorious, beautiful cow plant given to us by Luca. And I am so happy to have it here. Currently dormant, but in the future we will be able to get different forms of milk from it, like I said, in exchange for meat. Because that's what they do in the Sims series is they actually eat your Sims! Eat them, I say! And they give you a special kind of milk that can actually add days onto your Sims life. Life, but I'm pretty sure that must be uh, you know, just, just just rumors. You know the way that they say that certain animals or certain foods will like benefit you and make your skin glow and add years onto your life and give you blonde hair and blue eyes or something ridiculous like that. I'm sure that's just a rumor that cow plant milk manages to add life onto you. So I'm sure it's just like normal milk. So we'll definitely be coming by and playing with our cow plant once it wakes up. It definitely has transplant shock right now. So we need to make sure it can just rest safely here in our jungle. But I think it'll be very happy. We are in our jungle where normally we have the dinosaur or plans. I say plans <laughs> because the only other exhibit that we have over here is the Confucianus exhibit that we looked at yesterday. And they're doing really well. They're flying around their exhibit going choo-choo at each other like they always do. Why you do this, the bunny? <laughs> Why? I have no idea why Why You Do This is here, but Why You Do This the Bunny is hanging out in our jungle as well. But yeah, so this is the Confucianus exhibit. It is one of the first things we actually built in this world. Oh man, they're so pretty. I am such a sucker for birds. They're so pretty. Oh, and they have little eggs everywhere. Oh my gosh, there's eggs all over the place. You guys, eat all the fruit you want. Eat all the fruit you want. And originally, this section of the zoo was going to be devoted to prehistoric life. But I'm still kind of torn about that. I think that this section of the zoo... And let me whip up our map here. Which is a big, beautiful mushroom jungle. I'm pretty sure this section of the zoo might turn into something where we may devote it to kind of a mix between prehistoric life and maybe, uh, I hesitate to say, uh, mythical life. We'll say mythical life. So, you know, things like the cow plant, other crossovers that we may see from series will pop up in here too. But don't worry, we will be focusing on the real life animals and the facts of real life animals. I'm actually planning on adding in timber wolves at some point in the near future. We do need to go back over to our beautiful safari zone and we need to kind of like work on the savanna a little bit because we need to get some elephants over there. We need to make sure our giraffes are breeding healthy. We also need to take care of this little forest which is where the endermen are. But there's so many things we need to do in the zoo and today we're going to try to tackle some of the problems <laughs> that are in my pockets. Let's just start where, right where we're at with the things that we're looking directly at and that would be the things in my pockets which really have to do uh, with so many different projects I need to take care of. We have gold to make into the golden apples so that we can cure these zombie villagers that I still have rattling around in my pockets. I think this is actually a zombie baby, so I need to find somewhere safe to put it. I need to get more safari nets. Basically, you guys, I have put things off. 
and put things off and put things off. It is like when you shove everything under your bed and then you realize that you can't even climb on top of your bed anymore because it's on top of a giant mountain of things that you kind of kept shoving under your bed. So we're going to be taking care of the things in my pockets today and running around, maybe visiting with our friends. And if we're lucky, we may even have the opportunity to do a little bit more work on some of our exhibits, like the Black Bear exhibit, which is actually coming along really well. So I'm actually quite proud of our cow plant exhibit. Ooh, look, we have some some little uh i was i almost said free range mushrooms but i i don't know if you can call them free range mushrooms when they're just growing in my forest and like they can't exactly range they're a mushroom i don't know if this is going to be like our mythical and crossover and some samples of prehistoric life forest we may find some very odd creatures in here but we'll just have to see how that goes oh and what's that Oh, I think that's Alexis. That's Alexis. We'll go say hi to her in just a second. I need to snag my puppies. They're getting hungry. And I don't have... Of all the things I have in my pockets, ironically, a little bit of dog food is not one of them. So I do need to go get more dog food for the dogs that are with me. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy with our cow plant exhibit. Sometimes I just need a kick in the rump to get like an exhibit more or less done. And anywhere you have a path, you know Siri is going to do something about that path sooner or later. So I'm thinking over here we might put in some agouti or we might put in like some peccaries. Something mammal that lives in a jungle that's small and maybe food for the cow plant. So prey items for the cow plants may show up over here. So if you guys have ideas of things that you can usually find in jungles that may often serve a role in being a prey animal for different carnivores, especially ones about the cow plant size, so pretty good size carnivore, then let me know and I think we're going to add that guy over here. I'm thinking, I'm kind of leaning towards the goatees right now. I could definitely see those guys or maybe like, hmm, are there, how big are the mice in the jungle? I'm going to have to look up how big the biggest jungle mouse is are there jungle rats I, I don't think we need to start getting into rodents of unusual size but if you guys think that would be kind of fun to do like another crossover exhibit right over here too maybe we'll do something from earth and then we'll do something like the rodents of unusual size that might be really fun to add in actually I, I think that would be really fun we could go to twilight forest and we could get some of those little vents that shoot fire and smoke out from the ground that would be so cool to use in their exhibit okay yeah I think we're gonna have fun you guys this jungle over here is our normal jungle and we will definitely be focusing like we have our red panda exhibit and our tiger exhibit and our Gouldian finch little area our big gigantic aviary that we've got over here and it leads over to the safari zone but we'll have some fun with this jungle we'll kind of mix in a few crossover things we'll mix in some real life things of course but just kind of things you wouldn't expect and we might dabble a little bit in the mythological creatures that you can also find in minecraft for the mobs the mobs need a zoo too after all all right, so that's the plan. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you guys the signs. <gasps> okay, so in the Sim series, the cow plant wiggles out a cake on their tongue when they're hungry, and that is used as a lure to have your Sim unwittingly walk up and eat the free cake and then get eaten by the cow plant. So there's a little sign. Warning, do not approach if the cow plant has cake. And then there's another little sign over here with the scientific name of the cow plant, and it says, please use caution. The cow plant is an active carnivore. And you know, after I put the sign down, it occurred to me that you probably don't want to be standing underneath the active carnivore as you're reading the tiny little bit of text down there that says the cow plant is an active carnivore that may that might not end very well for you but that's okay buddy you go ahead and you take your snooze and then once we get a gardener over here i'm sure we'll figure out a way that we can get i mean i koi milk like coy cow plus soy milk Equals koi milk, maybe? I don't know. We'll figure out what to call the cow plant milk. Ooh, I could make special cow plant milk items and give it to my friends. Ha, huh, and sell it at market. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That sounds like an excellent idea. All right, so we'll work on that in the future. All right, so let's see toured this thought about rodents of unusual size which would actually be really fun to add in here and if you guys have other ideas like i said maybe the agouti or maybe we could add in i mean there's lots of little pig species there must be so many different mammal species if there could be really cool predators then you know there's going to be really cool prey because they need to have lots of prey in order to survive so we'll look up all sorts of different jungle species i'm thinking mostly i mean if you were a cow plant I feel like the cow plant would be from like Central to South America, probably South America, like the Amazon. So we'll look up different mammal prey species of the Amazon and we'll add in one or two of them over here. And I was thinking, I think I told you guys, leaf cutter ants. I'm thinking maybe a cute little line of leaf cutter ants and a leaf cutter ant uh, nest. And I'm actually not sure. 
I think they make their nest like in in trees like they make a big little um yes big little but they like find crevices along tree trunks and they build from there i'm not sure i'm gonna have to research where leaf cutters actually make their nest but we could have a leaf cutter nest and then a whole bunch of leaf cutter ants walking by so that would be really fun so i think we might put leaf cutter ants over here and have a little sign about it leaf cutter ants are fascinating to me they're one of my favorite insect species for sure all right so that is now tucked away i'm so proud out about our cow plant area very glad that it's done this is another area i showed you guys yesterday that i need to get some work done in if i ever i can't wait to get i cannot wait to get that silk touch pick because i have so many things i need to use it for so we'll eventually get to work down there too i hear a very curious chicken hello hello oh okay hello hello chicken oh there you are oh gracious all right eggshell what the heck eggshell what are you doing down here that's too much of a curious chicken my chickens wandered all the way down here <gasps> we may have to do a chicken rescue in the jungle sometime soon oh my gosh i didn't know that they wandered all the way down here i'm not sure how i feel about that oh uh, let's let's walk over here just really quickly ah uh, sorry i was so loud i was i was like oh that's a curious chicken i didn't expect eggshell that's one of our chickens from up there, from our chicken coop. That's a personal chicken. That's not, that's, a, why you do this? You really get around the place, little bun bun. <laughs> all sorts of discoveries over here. All right, and I'm going to gather up the sugar cane because I'm always low on sugar. And then let's go ahead and snag our puppies and get back up to the house. We'll put eggshell away and we will get to work. I also need to make some still shears. So today is gonna be a really random day. I'm gonna try to get a whole bunch of different things done. So just buckle in and hang in there, my friends, because we're gonna be doing so many different things in the zoo as I run back and forth, place to place, trying to empty my pockets. Come on, Alia. Come on, Pine. Come on, Lily Girl. Let's get back up home and feed you guys. But yeah, I'm going to be running from place to place trying to harvest things, make things, craft things. Basically spending a very busy weekend tackling any project that pops into my, my pockets, which is quite a few of them. Like, I, I just rescued a chicken. I wasn't expecting, hello, sunflower. Hello, little baby chicken bows. I can't wait for you guys to grow up, especially you guys, because I can fly you in the nether, which would be amazing. Ah, oh, you're such a good mama, Sunflower. And I will bring Astro Seed back to you. He's visiting with Puppy the Duck right now. Ah, oh, goodness. There's another project I have to tackle. Oh, don't even get me started on... Don't even... Oh, puppies, hang on. I'm coming. Don't even get me started on the tree nymph sleeping in my house <laughs> there's there's so much to do we'll get there we'll get there all right so first things first feed the hungry puppies alia hang in there alia i don't have any food down here for you because you won't eat oh my gosh that's a whole bunch of leather that was just hiding in there oh and i have some chocolate ice cream huh i wonder if that's still good and okay alia i don't have any food here for you so i need to go ahead and we'll go upstairs and we'll take Alia into the dog pen. So we might swap Alia out with Pine. Because Pine and Ash might be ready uh, to come out on a walk. I think is Ash. I'm pretty sure Ash is still over here. Alright. So yeah. Ash is still over here. Hey, baby. Alright. So let's get all of my puppies over here. Oh, hey, Relic. Alright. And Tate, how you doing? Um, You can go ahead and wander, Tate. Alright. Everybody good? Wonderful. So Alia is getting some food right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn this sugar cane into sugar. And gosh, <laughs> oh, so many things. So we're just going to tackle things one step at a time, you guys. Let's put eggshell away. I know. Oh my gosh. Relic is so cute. I can't wait to start learning more about him. And then let's go ahead and throw in whatever food items I have in here. Oh, look at that. Aki has been very hard at work. That's a huge bell pepper harvest. What am I going to do with all those bell peppers? I have so many bell peppers clogging up the system. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all of them. All right. Let me go ahead and put eggshell away. So like I said, you guys, today is probably going to be just absolutely all over the place while we try to tackle everything that's in our pockets. And you're going to see Siri scamper. It's Siri scamper day, I guess. That's what we call this because that's what I'm going to be doing scampering from place to place frantically to put things away all right so I got some ice cream uh that's kind of like at the dairy chest yeah look at all this ice cream cherry ice cream strawberry ice cream so much ice cream it's so yummy oh and I have so many fish too now that I think about it like my dogs have gotten me quite a few fish uh let's see hang on puppies all right I'm gonna put all the fish away 
Because I really, I don't know why I have this many fish and I have even more fish downstairs. <laughs> but we'll deal with that later, puppies. We'll deal with that later. All right, let's see. So we've got the pe peanut butter, yes! All right, we'll have to do a zoo kitchen pretty soon, making a whole bunch of sandwiches to put into the picnic pickup shop and finally finish that. I can't believe we're actually getting things done for once. Oh, papaya smoothie. All right, I know how to take care of that papaya smoothie. Mm -hmm. Done. All right, I've got some salt ink sacks, a whole bunch of paper, a whole bunch of leather. All right. Oh, and some bunny slippers. Let's go put the bunny slippers away. I know what to do with that too. All right. And salt. Toss the salt in there. I really need to make sure the salt seller is selling salt in Relic Ruins now. Ink sacks and ink wells. Yeah, the salt seller in Relic Ruins should be selling salt pretty soon. All right, so let's put away some of... Ooh, I forgot I had some diamond armor in here, but I think what I actually... Oh, wow, that's my really good diamond armor. Hmm, where should I put my... I'm going to hang them up here. I'm going to put my little... my little. Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> so I'm going to keep my bunny slippers up there, and I can put them on when we're going to lounge around the house for a little while. Alia, did you just dive off of... Oh, okay, Alia. How about we don't dive off of the balcony, please, young young miss? Alia? Alia? Okay, she's behaving herself now. Well, that's enough to make somebody panic a little bit. Their dog just throwing themselves off a balcony. That's just not the way we do things around here. All right, I've got lots of candy. have a pineapple. I have lots of... Let's see, I guess the mushrooms could go in here, and the wild rice could technically go in here, too. And then I have a whole bunch of plants that I know are just kicking around in my... Uh, how did I get these tomatoes? <laughs> oh my gosh, carrying those tomatoes around. All right. Oh, you guys, we might actually get this done really fast. Look so, look what happens if you just focus for like two seconds, Siri. It's amazing. You actually get things done. I'm going to put all these away. Sweet. All right. So all plants go in here. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, Centralia. Hmm. And then we've got some mistletoe. What else do we have hiding in here? Leaf piles. Oh, we need to do an autumn garden soon. I don't know about you guys, but autumn, like in Michigan where I just moved, it just sneaks up on you like nobody's business. It just pops pops up like one second. It was summer. It was kind of warm. Chips and I were going on walks going, wow, it's still kind of toasty, huh? And laughing about it. And then today I looked out the window and all of the leaves were orange just like that there was no warning there was no transition just all the leaves were orange and red and half of them were already fallen off the trees just like that so i don't know about you guys but that's what it's like here in michigan where the and it gets dark much earlier all of a sudden it's just like boom it's seven 720 almost and the sun has set and it's getting really dark so it's quite a surprise because I'm used to uh, it staying lighter a little bit longer because I've lived further south for so long so it is getting dark fast and it's just, just sneaking up on you like that but I think we'll be okay um, and I'm gonna get a little sun lamp because I do get seasonal affective disorder which means when it gets dark like this I don't do very well <laughs> I get super 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 depressed and it just doesn't do very well for me but we have some backup plans so we're not too worried I am going to be getting a little sun lamp and I'm gonna be living under a sun lamp so you may see me under my sun lamp you're not supposed to be under it all day mind you just for a little bit of the day but you may meet my sun lamp lamp which is going to be the savior of my sanity once we have um once we have winter upon us, you'll probably see it in our vlogs. So keep an eye out for it. All right. I have a drooly throw bone. That is just the definition of too much. Oh, I have two drooly throw bones. Okay. Oh, and I have two golden apples. That'll be really useful to cure the zombies in my pockets. I have four zombie villagers in my pockets. We may be able to cure them today. That would be quite fun. All right. So let's see. Wow. I actually got quite a bit out of my pockets. That's kind of a relief. Okay. And some ink sacks. I have a sculpture, a hide. Oh, a woolly glompus! The woolly glompus can actually go in here because that's a piece of fungus. There we go, you guys. See, if you actually take a second to tackle some of these projects, I will trade these leeks for dirt. I will trade these sticks for tea? Spinach. Trade the sticks for spinach. Trade the signs for some bamboo sprouts. I'm sure Aki won't mind. I'll put them all in the chest and she should be pretty darn happy. All right, don't you worry, Aki. I've got this. I hope she enjoys the summer garden while it lasts because like I said, it's suddenly autumn, like just boom, autumn here. So I'm definitely going to have to change up our garden to match. So it's all festive and bright and colorful and summery right now. But yeah, it's about to get very chilly. 
All right, so I have a a construction cone. Talk about random things to give people as gifts in the future. Construction cone, a heart of fire. Yep, yep, yep. Some mice. Oh, I remember who's going to get those mice. Oh, gosh, that potion of poison. Did that break open? Oh, dear. That looks like it cracked and it's just kind of like leaking all over the place. I don't think that's a good thing. Hmm. We'll deal with that in a little bit. I'm sure that'll be... That'll, that'll I'll just have to do for a minute. And then I have a dead butterfly. <laughs> Oh, I love all the random things. I can't even put it in here. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to put the dead butterfly on display down here Which by the way, I'm not allowed to do in real life because chips does not appreciate having dead butterflies in the house Oh, he doesn't appreciate having dead things period in the house actually All right, and then we're gonna put the amylite shells away And I guess I can put in well, actually those essence berries were a gift to me weren't they? Oh, well, they're in the pile now and then, let's see, I've got some shards, which were... This This is a very pretty gemstone, actually. I'm going to put it upstairs. Like I said, you're, today is Scamper Scamper Siri Day, where I'm dashing back and forth trying to actually get a few things done and put some things away. Wow! I actually can see my clipboard! I have a safari net! I didn't know I have a safari net in there. That's awesome! I can actually see things again! This is brilliant! This is just fantastic! All right, I've got all of this wool... All right, come on, puppies. We're going to go downstairs. Don't climb in the essence berry garden, please. It really pricks your little paws, and that hurts quite a bit for you. All right, so now we're going downstairs. I can make the shears while we're down here. Oh, what a relief. Nice little scamper day. So much going on. We might even have time to go and build something big for the, for the black bear. All right, so let me go ahead and ores and minerals. Plus, it's kind of nice just to be able to see everything we've got, which is quite a bit, actually. My shiny stones box. <gasps> I love my shiny stones box, even though it doesn't have that many stones in it right now. I need to go mining. I really do need to go mining very soon. So that's definitely going to be on the list because that's very important. I can't believe I actually am almost looking at an empty... <laughs> An empty backpack. This is this is amazing. This is fantastic. All right, let's see stone and marble Okay, nope, that's wool. That's not stone. It's just a stone look-alike uh, Diorite, let's go ahead. Let's see. Where am I gonna put the diorite? Man a sorting ch a sorting chest for all this would be amazing. It really would um, let's see, and then I have some machinery stuff. So that's going to be like all the rubber can go in here. Quite a bit of rubber. And we're actually going to be dabbling in the machinery for some of our zoo builds pretty soon. And that's going to get pretty chaotic. Alright, we've got some oak wood. I actually have some animal traps too. I guess they can go in the carpenter's chest. We could set those animal traps later, but I don't think we need to do that just yet. Alright, anything else? A extra stone hoe, zombies, <laughs> a forest bunny. I can actually see the bottom of my backpack, Lily. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Okay. Oh my gosh. Speaking of Christmas, I guess I need to start thinking about things we could do in the zoo. So if you guys have any fun ideas for something we could do for that's kind of like Christmassy related, then let me know. We can get started now. I don't mind, Alia. All right, and then let's see, loot and more. That's going to be where I can stick the extra things here. Uh, I do need to keep at least one carpenter's hammer on me for building. And that reminds me, I'm missing a chisel. All right, so this is a good moment just to kind of take a second. And I need to make new shears. I need to make a new chisel. Oh, and I'm going to put on my exotic flower headband. I don't know who it was who asked for it the other day. But they were like, can you bring back the flower headband? Look at my flower headband. It's so pretty. <gasps> I wonder if Eros has one. She must have one, right? She must, surely. That can definitely be a good gift for her if she does not. All right, flower headband recipe. Pink daffodils, orange cosmos, violets, clovers. So we're going to make a few flower headbands. I'm pretty sure Gamer K could probably use one. Um, I'm pretty sure that E-Rose could probably use one. I don't know if Jeannie wants one. We'll look into things. There's lots of people, lots of flower headbands. I'll see how many I can make today and pass them out. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so fun to have friends. All right. And then that's the little, yeah, that's my little clipboard. So I'm not sure where my clipboard for the squirrel went. I have a bad feeling it's hiding inside of... <laughs> It's probably hiding inside of some sort of um, crate somewhere. Perhaps not one of these actual crates where some other things are already hiding and I'm, I just tucked in. I'm sure this throw bone can go in here for now. There we go. Um, let's see. What the heck? Oh, the irrigation channels. I've still not figured out how to use those. That was an accident making those. We do have some fossils. Oh, some salt ore. 
I could crack that open. Uh, let's see, some sticks I can put away. The gold ingot we're going to turn into a whole bunch of apples in just a second here. I have cookies to eat, relic. I can, I guess that can go in here until I know what to do with it. And candy to eat. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it! I'm so happy! Yes, Alia, oh yeah, I am so happy. I can actually see the bottom of my backpacks now. So we're going to have some projects to work on. All right, good. Scampering worked. Oh my goodness. There's a, there's experimental chickens popping up out of the floors. Okay, so now I need to put the fossils away. And then I don't think... Oh, the clubhouse. I really need to start the clubs. That's going to be really fun. All right, so we're going to toss the fossils in here. Um, did, did this get anything, actually? Oh, it's still analyzing plant fossils. So what have, what have you guys found, huh? Ooh, another broken sword. Jeez, I've got so many broken swords now. It's quite amazing. Oh, yes, and bone meal. Sweet. All right, egg chamber, the embryo vats. Uh... And then bone fossil fragments, archaeological discoveries. There we go. Another broken ancient sword. Man, I've got a lot of those. <laughs> That's actually really cool. How many ancient things are there now that I think about it? So I have, I could make the ancient helmet. There's also the ancient uh, javelin, ancient clock, ancient key, and the wand of ancients. Ancient scroll. Ooh. There's quite a few things that we could be poking. Hmm, that'll be fun in the future. All right, I'm just gonna toss a few things in here really quickly. Good, and then where's my plant specimens? That may make for a really fun, now that I think about it, that may make for a really, really fun um, little greenhouse that we could put inside of the jungle, the, where we're gonna have like the prehistoric mixed with the kind of fantasy and mythological crossover jungle uh, exhibits. I think that'll be good. All right, and that I swear would make an amazing like alien. Man, if I could ever get Slime Rancher slimes in here, it'd be so exciting, Experiment 626. So many projects going on, but I do wanna focus on real life creatures first and foremost, of course. I say as I run past my many experimental cloning chickens and the vampire penguins, maybe I threw that baby out with the bath water a long time ago hmm hmm all right gonna make a pair of shears really quickly and the best kind of shears to make if you're a botanist happens to be steel shears dun 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 those should last me a little while all right i have some gold so i can make some more gold yeah i can make some more golden apples the recipe for golden apples eight and an apple okay and i should have some more gold in here too i have so much gold i forgot i had this much freaking gold <laughs> oh my gosh i'm sure i could do something useful with that lily let's go get you some more food and now i have room for the dog food sweet you guys i think we're actually going to be able to do this i'm so excited and the girls meanwhile do you guys have enough sugar bluebell okay i'm gonna make you some more sugar really quickly there we go Oh gosh, she's so cute. I just accidentally fed her the sugar instead of giving it to her too. All right, there you go, Bluebell. All right, and now let's go and get the dog some food. Poof. And then we're gonna cure some zombies because it's been a long time since we've cured zombies and I do very much enjoy a good zombie cure day. It's quite exciting. All right, we'll grab the chicken rice and blueberry. Poof. all right, puppies. You guys ready? All right, and then there's Pine. Okay, good. He's visiting with his dad. Okay, there you go, Alia. Lily, Lily. Okay, Lily is getting some food on her own, so she's doing a good job. All right, and Relic, you take it. Okay, thank you. Gosh, she gives me so many of these things. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. Ah, uh, turn them into the people of Relic Ruins to research at some point. All right. And we'll put these. Okay, melon seeds. Thank you, Martha. If you're eating your food at the table, please don't leave your melon seeds on the ground. Oh, gosh. So many things. So many things. Yeah, you guys, I think it's more a matter of just accepting the fact that sometimes, sometimes in life, I'm never going to be able to keep everything neat and tidy. I'm a naturally very tiny person. So the whole point of running around today and sorting everything, which some people actually find quite therapeutic, I've been told, so they enjoy it quite a bit, is that I kind of just wanted to see my home be a little bit more organized. But I'm beginning to realize that maybe we'll save that for side quests because there's no end to it. There's literally no end to it, Lily. There just isn't. It could go on forever, all of these tasks. But 
There we go. So I can finally see the bottom of my backpacks, which is really good. That's something I've wanted to do for quite some time. So we can start going on some adventures, maybe doing some resource gathering, maybe going out and visiting at our friends' areas and kind of traveling around their bases and seeing what their base areas have to offer. And I also need to get to work on actually curing some of these zombies. So let's see, I've got one extra safari net. And I have four zombies, so I don't want to mix them all up. These three zombies are going to be Jane, Tarzan, and Turk, who are going to be from, you know, from Tarzan, <laughs> who are going to be over in our safari zone taking care of the giraffes. This zombie is the zombie from Nirne's area, who I'm pretty sure is a former pirate that might be able to go back and tell her some more about where you could potentially find some pirate treasure. So I definitely want to make sure we don't mix him up with the others. Now, how are we going to cure all these zombies in my pockets? Because it's about time I took care of the zombies in my pockets well I was gonna go over to my apple tree you guys I cut down my apple tree I forgot <laughs> there's no apples look at those apples on my apple tree fascinating man look at these look at these look at these apples <laughs> I really was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just go over to my apple tree. I forgot that I have been changing up my garden to the extent where you can't even, like, tell what the trees are. Oh, gosh. All right. Because I'm changing the trees eh, every season now, too. And goodness gracious, it is, it is harder than you would think to collect up some coconuts. So I don't know about that. You know what I would love to see in the, in our, our exhibits, though? What Something I would love to add to the zoo to teach you guys more about? Coconut crabs. They are huge. I think they are actually the biggest crustacean on the planet. Uh, don't quote me on that. You want to double check and fact check that. But they're gigantic. Have you guys ever seen coconut crabs? Because you know what? I'm going to make sure you've seen coconut crabs now. I'm going to make sure that a coconut crab has popped up on the screen. And you guys can see the sheer size of coconut crabs. So now you've learned something new for the day. The size of coconut crabs and how amazing they are. Let me know if you guys have actually seen coconut crabs before. And what you know about them. Because they're pretty cool. Alright, so what on earth can we do with this coconut? You're kidding me. Oh, I, I thought this was going to say it's like chocolate covered coconut and I was gonna say that's just taking it a step too far you guys that is just a step too far but it's actually crushed nut chocolate which makes a lot more sense to me so if we had like a clay pan filled with chocolate for the fondue recipes then we could dip our coconut in there and we would get crushed nut chocolate which actually would be kind of fun I am thinking we're gonna make a really fun chocolate factory where you can do so many different chocolate related things because we have a lot of chocolate like I, I don't like chocolate personally but we have quite the wide selection of chocolate. And just imagine if you could just have like fountains of chocolate milk. It would be pretty amazing. So that's another project to work on in the future. Maybe we'll do that in February to be like a special for chips. Because my beloved chips with all of his mini chip clones all over the place. He loves chocolate. So I could definitely see working that in the future. Uh, let's see. Aluminum ore berry. Oh, so much chocolate. Yeah, we'll have fun with that. Anyway, you can make coconut shrimp too, which is pretty yummy. Maybe we'll mix some of that for Nirne. It's a pretty complicated recipe, so it might be a lot of fun to figure out if we could, how we could like put it together. So we might make some coconut shrimp and give that to Nirne. Uh, you can have pina coladas as well. You can have coconut milk, which is very healthy. I love coconut milk. Uh, and chicken curry, which we could make out of tofu, which it looks really good actually. Oh my gosh, that would be quite fun. So we might save these coconuts and make them into special foods to give to Nirne because curing the zombie and taking her some presents are definitely needed since she, among many, many, many of our other amazing friends here, have definitely given us so many gifts and I haven't had time to go back and re-gift them. So I need to do that. All right. Hello, ladies. I need to grab some apples. Here's my apple barrel. All right. Good. I still have a stack of apples left. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that many golden apples out of, oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys! <laughs> everything clean and tidy in this house oh my gosh I'm gonna be the salad I'm just gonna end up giving salad to everybody I can't even I don't even know how to handle that I'm gonna just get our sugar station up and going with these beets oh my gosh that's hilarious 
That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Just watching. I wonder how long I have just been letting fresh vegetables go to waste on the ground. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well. Hem hem. It looks like I'm going to be making salad for everybody and sharing salad with everyone because that's I need to do something with this food. Food waste is a very bad thing, you guys. Very bad indeed. Is there like a really quick, easy... We can make lettuce wraps. We can make so many lettuce wraps, I'm hoping. Do we have the cucumber? If we have the cucumber, we can make lettuce wraps. Uh, I could make salad. Just so much salad. I could technically make a whole bunch of veggie bait. Um, let's see. Uh, a whole bunch of spring salads. Okay, so we could probably make a ton of spring salads. It looks like we can just make spring salad until our eyes cross. And if we grab tofu, we can actually make tofu pork lettuce wraps. So I guess they would be tofu lettuce wraps. So we could make a whole bunch of those. I do have a lot of tofu. If there's anything I have a lot of right now, it actually happens to be tofu. So we may do that. We may do that. Even fish. I'm, I'm not above making fish lettuce wraps. Uh, or citrus salad. I actually don't have a lot of citrus. Okay, well that got interesting very quickly. So I need to keep ahead of the game here. So let's go ahead and we're going to make a whole bunch of salads. And I'm just going to be giving people... I am going to be giving people health. I'm going to be sh like sharing health <laughs> everywhere on the server. Let no one doubt that Siri doesn't... Like Siri cares about them because I'm going to be making sure that everybody is as healthy as they can be with tons of salad. Okay, so let's see. How, what can we combine to make the, okay, can we add rhubarb? Okay, it needs a cutting board, but you can make spring salad with rhubarb. All right, so I've got one, two, three stacks of that. One, two, and let's grab uh, zucchini. Oh, cucumber, cucumber, and, and lettuce, and was it tomato? Cucumber, lettuce, and tomatoes made something kind of fun. Let's just check on that. See how quickly I have all of my best laid plans just go awry. All right. I'm pretty sure. Was it the lettuce wraps? The lettuce wraps still sound like a really yummy thing. And there was something else that was quite intriguing to me to make for everyone. Ah, the vegetarian lettuce wraps. Okay. Cucumber, tomato, and lettuce. All right. We'll see how many of those we can pull off. Gosh. And then I have my apples so we can finally cure my, my villagers. Okay. Let's make the golden apples first. All right, so I can make, looks like, three golden apples. All right, and then let's go ahead. <laughs> and before we get too overwhelmed by everything once again, so just the lettuce and tomato make spring salad. And if we add the cucumber, vegetarian lettuce wraps. Those sound so yummy. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to make a ton of salad. <laughs> we're just going to make tons and tons of salad. And I'm going to be gifting everybody just fistfuls of salad because I, I need something. I need to do something with it. It's so overwhelming, girls. All right. Let me put away... Uh, should I, Actually, let me go ahead. Let me just go ahead and make as many of the golden apples as I can. Because I might even be able to start, like, spot curing villagers if I get fast enough at it. Um. All right. And then let's see. Beets. I'm going to shove all of the extra beets I can in there. And that'll actually continue on with processing into sugar, uh, which is going right over here. So I'm going to leave the beets over here, and then I'll just refill my beet sugar station whenever I can. Thank you so much to those of you who have told me that you can make this in the first place by putting beets into the presser and you get sugar. <sighs> all right. Frantically running all over the place. Oh, wait. I ran out of gold. That's why I couldn't make any more golden apples. Sorry. I'm just being silly and distracted now. All right, I do have more gold downstairs, but I will take care of that later. All right, well, unexpected side adventures of like spinning, spinning salad and, and vegetable overflow aside. Whew, now I need to get a little bit serious and become somewhat of a doctor. So we're going to be taking... And let's sterilize this empty syringe. We are going to be taking these empty syringes and we are going to be putting a golden apple in there. And it makes the de-zombification syringe. So we now have the instrument we need to cure the zombie villager inside of this net finally. So next we're going to come outside and we are going to line our puppies up because they tend to get a little agitated. Oh my goodness, Lily. You sort of flew through the air there. That was a little exciting. Sit pine. All right. 
We're gonna line our puppies up because they tend to get agitated when I do this. And then if I have a fence, this will actually work out a lot better. And I usually do my zombie curing work in here. It's just a shed. I, it's really not a medical facility. I'm going to admit that I probably am not licensed for this right now. We used to have a hospital in the old world to cure the zombies in, but I need to rebuild it. So we're working on that. I might, might talk to, oh gosh, I might talk to Ben about that. But for now, my friends, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put down a good old carpenter's barrier in the corner because that's just going to work. I don't recommend this for an actual zombie apocalypse where you may need to like run for your life very quickly. I will be fully suited up. Um, well, I'll leave the flowers on. Maybe if he sees the flowers, it'll make him feel a little bit less agitated. You know, you want to have a nice look on your face when you happen to be a nurse. Um, I did. I was a nursing student, by the way, so that's how I knew. All right, we're going to put him over here. Hello, my friend. Oh, good. I'm glad you're safely contained. This works much better than like slam. I used to put them down, cure them, and slam the door in their face and run for it. But there we go. So we have given him the zombification syringe. I'm going to come over here and... Oh, hey, Aster Seed. I forgot I put you... Oh, is he already done? <gasps> He's already done. Hello, sir. Oh, I forgot how happy that makes me to cure the villagers. It really just thrills me. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? And he trades leather pants. So I wonder what you used to do on the pirate ship, huh? Well, I think we're going to have a pretty good conversation about that. Let's go ahead and put him inside of the safari net for now. So we are going to take this villager and we are going to make sure that we keep him separate from everybody else. And we know that this is the villager we're going to take back to Nirne because I'm pretty sure he used to be a pirate in his old life. Though maybe I need to like teach him to speak first. I'm not sure. We could probably teach him how to uh, communicate with us. I am looking for somebody to teach my villagers in Zomberry Village how to use their alphabets and whatnot again. We used to have someone. I'm going to have Joe come back and I'll have her do it again. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash this syringe in the stream. Sure, it's just a stream, uh, you know, in my backyard, but they're zombies. I'm pretty sure that's about as sanitary as you need to worry about things being. And we're going to grab the three zombie villagers that we're going to cure who we found in the safari area when we were building with our giraffes. And these guys are going to be in charge of staying in our giraffe barn and watching after our giraffes. And it's going to be Jane, Tarzan, and Turk. And I'm going to eventually build them a really fun tree house so they can become pardon. And maybe if I actually build that school in Zomberry Village and they learn how to use language, they might turn into very, you know, they might regain their memories, might turn into very specific types of NPCs. So that would be pretty fun. All right, so let's go ahead and cure them. Grabbed our golden apple. There's our de-zombification syringe. You guys have seen how it works. And hello, Tarzan. I'm going to assume you're Tarzan. Okay, I'm going to go wash this. I'll be right back. Aster Seed, I totally wash, 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 wash. I totally thought you were with like Puppy the Duck, so this is a little bit startling. <gasps> I'm so excited! I really, really, really love. <gasps> there we go. Hello, sir. Oh wow, he's he's a catcher horse, so he is like Tarzan. He goes out and he can actually get mystery safari nets. That's so much fun. Many kind of animal can pop out of mystery safari nets, mostly the ones from Twilight Forest and Vanilla Minecraft, though. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work with all the other animals. It would be really cool if it did. So cool if it did. So very, very nice to meet you, sir. Oh my gosh, that's perfect for Tarzan, too. Because Tarzan, you know, worked with the animals in the jungle. And now our Tarzan actually will bring us those animals. So very cool. All right, next up. Hello, Jane! Oh, I forgot how much fun it is to cure zombie villagers. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wash this. Wash, 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 wash. Everybody doing okay in here? Okay, all the puppies seem all right. They don't seem to realize what's going on, which is probably a good thing. They get a little agitated with the zombies. Oh, hello, Jane! I, wow, she actually turned... Hi! Okay, so she collects flint and will make emeralds. Wow, that's really cool. So Jane actually turned into like a, a girl NPC or a little girl uh, villager. So that's really fun. All right, and now we have Turk. All right, and here are you. Oh, the moans. I forgot how much fun. I just love curing zombie villagers. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. I should go and collect them more often and bring them back. He, he's trying to claw his way through the wall over to Zomberry Village. Hello! And he sells single-use safari nets. Oh my gosh. You guys are going to be so useful in the safari zone. 
That's so, so ironic that they sell safari nuts and they're going to the safari zone. So that's really fun. We now finally, finally, finally have these ones cured. So let me go ahead and put them away. We have accomplished quite a lot. I'm going to put away the golden apple. Here's the villager that we are going to hopefully like talk with. I'm not sure how we're going to give them back to Nirne, but I've got plants. I've got plants. And then let's see, maybe I should take the gifts to Nirne actually, like the coconuts and maybe some lemonade. We can go and poke at her area for the end of the day because I do like to try to spend some of Saturday actually visiting with our, my friends. And I can tell Nirne I have cured the villager and that I am going to be working with him to hopefully provide him with his memories. Maybe he knows where some hidden pirate treasure is buried. That would be pretty cool. How did I go from picking lemons to picking corn? <laughs> Oh gosh, I picked up some of this corn all of a sudden it startled me. Yes! Yes! Peanuts! Wonderful! We need peanuts in order to make lots and lots of peanut butter. Alright, let's throw these in here. And then, let's see, I want to make some lemonade for Nirne. Because I think that would be a really nice accompaniment to the other foods we're going to be taking her. Lemon bars, oven roasted cauliflower. Wow, you can make so many different foods. There we go, lemon smoothie, fruit punch, lemon jelly. Uh, lemonade! Okay, it's just, it's just juiced. Just pure lemonade. Alright, the puppies are still doing good. Oh, and we'll pick her some fresh mangoes. Everybody likes mangoes, yeah? I really enjoy mangoes. Once upon a time, when we actually voted what everybody's favorite fruit was, and we built a tree in the old world dedicated to that, man, that's reaching back into the memories, and that was really fun, actually. I should rebuild that. We should host a new vote. Maybe every summer we could vote and see what our community's favorite fruit is, and then we'll rebuild the tree on the beach which we are going to be doing beachy stuff. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Oh, you know what? This little area could be a mountain, couldn't it? Because it's all mount or it's all covered in snow. So we might give this little guy a name of a mountain. Like it could be Mount Asterseed or something like that. And we'll give that a name and make it a little like landmark. That'll be fun. All right, so yeah, over here is where I am thinking of putting in our cove and where we're gonna start doing, because you can already see there's somebody who has been making some headway over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we will be doing some work over here and adding in a whole bunch of the marine animals. So that should be pretty fun. Huh. All right, and that's where we can build the tree that everybody can vote on the different fruits that our community enjoys. Oh, and I even have some oranges over here. Geez, Siri, why are you surprised by the thing in your own garden? I constantly am, like the fact I didn't have my apple tree. All right, there we go. So there's some nice fresh fruits. Maybe I won't make everything. Ooh, there's even some, some cherries over here. Maybe I won't make everything into different kinds of, there we go. Maybe I won't make everything into different kinds of foods. I'll just kind of give her some really yummy fresh fruit with the salad. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of salad. Everybody gets lots of salad. Oh gosh. It's going to be it's going to be pretty interesting. All right, let's make a whole bunch of lemonade. And then I want to make that fun coconut thing. So, I want to figure out how to make coconut shrimp for her. Um, which may involve actually getting some shrimp. I wonder if I have shrimp. So, hello girls. Oh, I'm glad you're talking with the little chips. Come up with lots and lots of chocolate recipes. All right. But yeah, thank you guys for your patience while we do scamper day. I feel so much better actually having accomplished some things. I actually have raw shrimp. <gasps> I didn't know. I didn't know. It's been so long since we've actually done any of our fishing and setting up our fish traps. Huh. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we might we might set the fish traps again. I'm okay with doing fish. Like fish, I, I could I could put up with that. Normally we cook vegan even in our Minecraft world, but eh, fish. I'll I'll go ahead. Little shrimp. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's been it's been a long time since that little shrimp has actually been alive. It's been in my freezer for so long. So I need cooking oil, flour, eggs, and the skillet next. Okay, so we'll grab that. I'm pretty sure. Do I not have cooking oil? What the heck? What the heck? I was so close. I was going to make something fun and go visit my friend and be able to leave something for her. Why? <laughs> oh, all right. So if we had olives or walnuts. Do I have a walnut tree? I think I have a walnut tree. Now I have pineapples. Uh, is this, are these pecans or walnuts? These are pecans. Hmm. Darling, I have been thwarted. I was trying to make my friend some awesome food. And somehow I've been thwarted. I have walnuts. Okay. Oh, gosh. How did I pick up more pineapple? I guess I can give her a bunch of pineapple, too. Maybe even some chili peppers? Because I just picked up some chili peppers. I know we... Ah! Aster seed. Ouch. 
Oh, that startled me. That was a good branch. All right, I know we have one that's down by the squirrel area, though. All right, so let's come down here. We've actually gotten quite a bit done today, even if it was just kind of scampering around. I feel calmer. I feel like I can focus, because when everything's a mess, you just can't focus. All right, there we go. Specialist Cassidy, how are you today? Ah, uh, yes, the path to the Marsh Creek Walk, where we're going to have, hopefully, one day herons and ducks and everything. Very happy over here. I wonder if Puppy would be happier over here. Hmm, I don't know. There's carrot fish inside of those waters, so and fishing bun buns, so maybe Puppy's safer over at the lake. So we'll worry about that later. But this is Specialist Cassidy with her cat Taz and her bunny Smokey, and she takes care of Dorothy's pecan tree planted by Sierra, which is a really wonderful pecan tree. But I'm actually not here for the pecans today, Specialist Cassidy. I am here for the walnuts. Ha! There they are. So this is the squirrel uh, rescue area, complete with some of the squirrels that scamper about from time to time. I see your little tail! I see your little tail hiding over there! And we will be one day rescuing these squirrels by curing them, going over to our little research center, the Wellnut Center office, where you come over and they have little lists of things that you need to do to be able to cure them, and giving them a new home, and that's definitely something we'll be doing in the future. All right, but for now, I'm frantically gathering walnuts. <laughs> I need, I just need, I just need a few more walnuts, please. Oh, gosh. Oh, wait, I know how I can get lots of walnuts. We're going to make the tree very happy for a second. All right, there we go. Yes, bone meal. Sweet. And that was the bone meal we actually got from fossils. See, you, you wouldn't really be able to predict that's how things are going to turn out. You grab some bone meal, and the next thing you know, or you grab some fossils, and it turns into bone meal, and then from that bone meal... You can then go and you can make some walnuts, and with the walnuts you can make uh, cooking oil, and with the cooking oil you can make some shrimp. So people wonder how I get so easily distracted sometime. Come on you guys, that's quite the little head turner there, isn't it? Alright, so now the walnuts will get pressed into cooking oil. Dun dun dun! There we go! Wonderful! So I guess I can go downstairs and gather up some pineapples and things to give our wonderful friend Nirene. Let's see, fruit basket. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! It's been a bit of a summer harvest! Oh my! Okay! Well, Nirene is about to get a lot of food. <laughs> So we're going to be giving her a lot of food. I can actually, I'll go grab some gold for her um, because I know she can use gold and maybe some other things for her treasure chest. And maybe I'll, I'll explain how I think this guy may be connected somehow to pirates. So hopefully we'll be able to get some fun pirate information out of him. Uh, not in the mean way. We're going to be very nice about it. All right, we'll give lots of vegetable lettuce wraps, spring salad, and then we'll add in some mangoes and lemons, some fresh fruit. Fruit. So there's going to be lots of fresh fruit involved as well. Gosh, I mean, Aki has been, Aki's been doing a bit of work, you guys. I hadn't realized, I mean, pineapples used to be something I could never get enough of. And I think, I think Aki has been working overtime. Maybe I need to tell her to take a bit of a break. Oh gosh, what am I going to do with all of this? I guess we're going to have a summer special on the picnic baskets because this is, this is a lot of fruit. Okay. Oh my gosh, Aki. What am I getting? What can I even, I can make them into like actual melons, I guess. Um, what else can you do with melon? Watermelon jelly, melon juice. Uh, let's see, we can make melon smoothies, which are really pretty by the way. And you can make melon yogurt and fruit salad. Hmm. Hmm, it'd be cool if you could make like watermelon salad, but you can make big just chunks of melons. <laughs> you can make so many melons. Oh my gosh, maybe we'll just like put together a whole bunch of melons and give them to our friend Nirne. All right, so let's scooch this way and this way. And there we go, there's some cooking oil, wonderful. And it looks like I can make at least a few of these then. There we go. All right, so what le what is left when it comes to... Now I need some eggs and some flour. So I think I should have some of those things right over here. Flour, 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 flour. Yep, got some flour right over here. There we go, put that over here. And then eggs, I can actually gather the eggs fresh from my little chicken coop where Eggshell, who we rescued earlier. Geez, that feels like forever and a day ago. And fresh eggs, oh my goodness. So many fresh eggs, hello everyone. Hello, hello Carlos, how are you doing? Oh my gosh. 
Oh, I bet we'll have some really fun grape recipes once it turns into, let me gather up some of these eggs. I have a feeling we'll have some really fun grape recipes once it turns into autumn and we change out our summer garden for the autumn garden and we'll have grapes all over the place. That'll be really nice. Oh gosh, and some more paper. Thank you, Martha. I can take a note, like literally take a note. All right, and then let's come over here. Finally, okay. And now we can make some coconut shrimp. Dun, 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 for a friend near nay. What a fun, what a fun semi-exhausting adventure that was. All right, and let's go ahead and now I can put away the cooking oil and the skillet and maybe grab, I wonder if I have a lot of chili peppers that I can give her as a gift. So we're gonna be sneaky and try not to earn the ire of Aki and we're just gonna come over here and all of the extra stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Look at how easy that is to put away. We'll just throw the dodo. Well, I guess I need to. Get, ah, well, dodo eggs are in there now. Okay, come here, dodo eggs. Okay, got those. There's the tea. There's the pecans. Ah, oh, there's the honey. That's how easy it is to really resort things thanks to a sorting shed. So maybe I should just invest in more sorting systems because that would really save some sanity. All right, there we go. There's that. So now we have some gifts for my friend Nierne. We have coconut shrimp, we have lemonade, we have a whole bunch of salad, we have a whole bunch of fruit. And let's go downstairs and actually snag a whole bunch of little gemstones and crystals. And also eat another pizza that Eros gave us. Ah, there, that's so yummy. And then there's even tea. I don't know if I want to have tea with my pizza, but I'll have some starfruit smoothies. That sounds really yummy. There we go. All right, and then let's go downstairs and we're going to snag a whole bunch of random- oh, I actually I have some gemstones upstairs too. Um, okay, let's grab the gemstones from upstairs because that's actually the, the like dump everything in chest that I keep things to give to my friends. All right, and then tomorrow- oh, thank you, Martha. And then tomorrow, hopefully, I will be able to actually do quite a bit of work, uh, um, either in Dog Quest or in the zoo. And I know I keep saying that, but honestly, you guys, it's just kind of like having fun and having a good time with my friends. You never know what's gonna happen either. All right, Lamp of Cinders, Garnet Shards. Let's see, do I have, and there's some Barrel Shards. So we'll grab a couple of those. Garnet Shards are pretty common, but actually I think she'd appreciate a good Garnet Shard. And she does like to do sanding. She does like to collect a bunch of sand. And Amber Shards should be pretty fun. And then, oh yeah, I've been saving these guys my amylite shells because they're so pretty. We'll be able to share the amylite shells. And is that everything? I think that's everything. Maybe any unexpected treasures. I do have this rock hound sieve that I'm not really sure what to do with. <laughs> Oh gosh, and then those shards. Oh, lock boxes! Perfect! We'll give these lock boxes to her because those are literally treasure chests. That's so fun. All right, so that should be good. All right, Martha. I'm finally grabbing some of the paper and the ink that you keep throwing at me. And I'll make a little book. All right, and where's my little book? All right, there we go, little chocobo feather. And I can make a book and quill, put all together. There we go. And... Oh, interesting. All right. Ah, oh, dang it. That didn't make a book and quill. <laughs> oh, is that, a, is that an empty book and quill? Please tell me that's an empty book and quill. It is! Sweet. All right, so we'll take this. I'm just getting kind of tired now because it's like, oh, I've done so many things. I'm ready to rest. Poor Siri's tired. And we'll go out to our shed. Thank you, Martha. You really shouldn't be giving me paper this often, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, and let me put away the dodo eggs. All right. So, you guys, we're gonna head out. We're gonna go tell Nierne, thank you so much. I am so glad. It's actually been weighing down on me a lot that people have been coming, visiting, leaving such wonderful gifts, and then I haven't been able to reciprocate. So it's been weighing me down quite a bit, and I'm just really, 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 really glad that I'm actually able to give some gifts back now. So that makes me very happy. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna wiggle this way because I wanna try grabbing... Oh, yeah, the flower crowns. Okay, we'll try making the flower crowns for Eros in the future, too. And I do want to try grabbing some tropical flowers to give to Nierne as a gift. So the Coneheads, they're one of my favorites. The Conehead flowers are so pretty. And she has a very tropical paradise area. So let's see, maybe some of these guys? I, I need to be careful not to give away all of my specimens of certain species. But other things, I mean, aloe vera, aloe, aloe is very useful. Aloe is a good thing. You can make a lot of things out of aloe. And it is a healing 
it's a, a medicinal kind of herb as well. So we'll go ahead and give that to her too. And then the lollipop. So we'll give the lollipop and then some ferns. Uh, let's see, bamboo, ferns, and vines. Do I have just plain ferns? What on earth? All right, we'll go gather up some plain ferns. That won't be hard. And then I'm going to walk the gauntlet of trying not to pick up everything that Aki has thrown on the ground. Oh, and then I need to make a, a chest really quickly. I just remembered. Okay, roundabout way. And do I have any wood? Mm, somehow I'm out of wood in here. Um, let's see, algae. I'll exchange the algae for some of the wood that's over here. All right, grab that. All right, and then we'll get going, you guys. I'm so sorry and so thankful for your patience while we go ahead and we just spent a weird day running around everywhere. I can already hear everybody going, Siri, what on earth? You're supposed to be doing zoo stuff. What are you doing running around in your garden and sorting pockets and things like that? Well, we cured some zombies. That was finally something that needed to happen for sure. Okay, get out of here. All of these things. Ah, there we go. Run! Run before Aki's garden gives us more things! We cured some zombies. That's definitely something that I had to have happen. And we emptied our pockets so I can focus. And let's see, where can I find some ferns? What? You would think you'd just be able to stumble on ferns. <laughs> but all I've got is grass. Grass everywhere. Grass and in the distance the puppy playpens. Oh my goodness. Alright, well we'll just head out. We're just gonna have to take what we've got and give it to our friend Nirne as a good gift. And I think this is a pretty good one. All right. But yeah, thank you guys for your patience. Just spending some time running around, taking care of all of our animals, taking care of the various things, showing off the cow plant exhibit. I mean, really, a lot has been done. So whew. next time, though, we'll focus pretty much entirely on exhibit building and trying to get just that black bear exhibit up and going because I really want to see that up off the ground, up and going. And then once we get more things built for the black bears inside of the exhibit, we will go ahead and move the elephant. And when we move the elephant, we will have Jane and Tarzan and Turk be able to go into the giraffe barn. And after that, we will be able to go on an adventure looking for a black bear or maybe even contacting a black bear researcher and having a nuisance black bear moved into our zoo so he's in a nice safe area. All right, so let's go ahead and move over to Nirnes. Woo! We're here! We're here! Her tropical paradise. Oh gosh, what's this? This is new. Nirnes mailbox. Please place the wool from the crate next to the chest to show there is mail. If you need a book, there are extras in the crate. <gasps> That's so nice of her. Oh, and there's Charles. I can't wait until we have some angler fish of our own swimming around. Oh, it's been so long, but Nirne has been doing so much work work. If you guys really want to see somebody who works on exhibits all the time, Nirne and Pavo are the two who are actually doing the work and it's just fantastic. Oh, uh, it's been so long since I've been here. I'm going to walk off the glass path if I'm not careful. Oh, and there's cocoa beans. Oh, it's so fun. Yep, when we have autumn going on in our temperate forest area and in our autumn garden, I think we'll be able to pop by Nirne's place and get a dash of this awesome summer feeling no matter what time of year it is. This is new too. These little fences over here. I wonder what she's doing over here. I probably shouldn't stick my nose in too many things. Oh gosh. Okay, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I won't look again. Oh gosh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness, what's over here? Celeb oh, it's a celebratory garden to celebrate all the special events and things we do. Oh, that makes me so happy. I can't wait to do more events. That's going to be really fun. Commemorating one year in zoo crafting. Oh, it's like her own Garden of, of Eden. Like I have all of my plants. Oh my gosh. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm so happy. Oh, that makes me really happy to see. One year. Nirne, geez, I can't believe it's been that long already. Ah, oh, that's what I mean. This really is a home away from home for me, you guys. And I know sometimes you really want to see the exhibits and the animals, but sometimes for me, it really is just kind of being with my friends. Truly, honestly, I mean, the people in zoo crafting, I fell off. The people in zoo crafting really are uh, my my friends, my friend friends, and it's it's really amazing. It's amazing to be able to see the people you care about and the people who are your friends be able to create amazing things and it just builds up and builds up month after month after month and sometimes I just want to celebrate that. 
Zoo crafting really is, especially because it's a daily series, my home away from home, and or even my home inside of home. And so yeah, sometimes we spend the entire day curing zombies and gathering up random things to give people as gifts, but I think it'll be good. All right, so near day's mailbox, here's the crate. Here's the mail. Oh, I can't help but peek. That was more Pictopia gifts. That's, oh my gosh. <laughs> and there's some corals. Some of the new corals. Hint, hint. Yeah, you're seeing a sneak peek of things we're going to be seeing in the ocean pretty soon. So a whole bunch of corals. And so poor Nirne is going to come back. And she is just going to be swamped in gifts. That's one of the things I love about everybody in zoo crafting too. Is that so often it's just like this overwhelming awesomeness. Of, why do I have flour? I don't even know. So often it's just this overwhelming awesomeness of being just completely swamped with all of these presents all of the time. Because everybody is so nice and everybody just ah it's just so much fun all right so let's go ahead fill up our pockets with some of these things all right and now we are going to overwhelm her even more i'm going to make my little lineup of treasure basically so we'll put the treasure like this and then we'll surround the amber shards like so oh, it's gonna be really cool we'll put the little garnet shards over here and we've got little little treasure pieces all over the place yeah look at that treasure pieces do i have any other pieces oh it's not even i'm gonna take away this garnet shard <laughs> sorry nirne it has to be nice and tidy so it's like a little treasure patch that you found all right and then we have spring salad and we have some flowers of various types, including some aloe, which is good for medicinal purposes. And then some coconut shrimp and some more spring salad. Because <laughs> I have a lot of spring salad to share. And some lemonade. So we'll share some lemonade too. And then it's going to be a lot of pineapple. It's going to be like summer exploded inside of this crate. That's what it's going to be like. Look at this. It's awesome. It is like summer just exploded. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, and we'll line up we'll line up some some melons. It's like a summer explosion. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yep. There we go. And then we'll just kind of sprinkle the rest on the bottom. Oh my goodness. And there's just gonna be fruit. Fruit everywhere. Just so much fruit. There you go. All right, and some lemons and some mangoes, and we have more fruit. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much. There's so much fruit. All right, there we go. And then there. The entire thing is full. Whoops. Okay, I need to make a little bit of room. There we go for a little note. All right, you guys. So she actually had space in her mailbox, and I'm going to go ahead and write a note to her now. But I feel good. I feel really good. It's been so long since I've been able to actually reciprocate all of the gifts that all of my friends have been giving me. So this was a big deal for me to be able to leave some gifts for people. And it was a big deal for me to be able to cure up some of the zombies. It was a big deal for me to be able to clean out my pockets. I feel like my head is just clearer now. And it was really fun to be able just to run around and see everything that's going on in our zoo and all sorts of different projects that are happening. So I hope you guys have had a wonderful day. I hope you guys can come and see what amazing adventures Nirne is up to in her tropical paradise. And we will definitely get to work in the zoo tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.